$1 vigil dedicated to the victims of the mass shooting is growing in Half Moon Bay, a yeah. memorial that is. People are coming by to pay their respects yeah. and trying to come together as a community, support each other. Crown Force Will Tran is live in Half Moon Bay with more. Good morning, Will. James Daria, I'm in downtown Half Moon Bay, and as you can see, the candles are still burning right behind me. A lot of people have been showing up down here, even though the locations of the massacres are about two miles from this particular location. I'll step out and I'll show you what you uh, would see if you were here. You can clearly see there is a sign right there that says, as a community, we grieve. And I've already seen on social media, Half Moon Bay strong. You can see the flowers. As you can see the candles. Let me show you some video. It's not just the community that is grieving. It's also, of course, Governor Gavin Newsom. Here's video of him yesterday in Half Moon Bay. He actually was in Monterey Park consoling the victims, talking to the survivors as well of Half Moon Bay, of what, excuse me, of Monterey Park, that what we saw over the weekend. And all of a sudden, he said that he had to be ripped away from that after he learned the news of what happened in Half Moon Bay. He came here, he joined the community, he was very passionate about gun violence, about what is going on, and he even reiterated the phrase that a lot of of people have been saying only in America that it happens. A lot of people, not just Governor Gavin Newsom, but local politicians like the vice mayor chiming in, talking about they know the victims as well as the suspected gunmen. I was very surprised, you know, when I watched the news clips. So it's somebody I was familiar with, somebody I had contact with, you know, I brought in like the resources. We were just there before Christmas. We brought food, gifts uh, for everybody there, including for him. And James Dario, we have learned that the suspected gunman actually stayed at one of the sites, the location of scene number one that we reported all day yesterday, that he actually lived at the site for about seven years. Just to clear up some logistics, I drove right by that site. We thought it would take a couple of days for them to clear it. It looks like the Santa, San Mateo County Sheriff's Department and all other deputies are gone, but of course, no one is going to to forget what happened and we do expect this vigil to grow and more people showing up throughout the morning and of course we will bring you reaction.